Sleep ever. I think Lindbergh has it. Yeah, well, I think I beat him last night. You heard anything, Jinx? If I did, wouldn't I tell you guys? Not necessarily. That's right. You didn't tell Lou until after he chipped in for the gas pump. Hey, fellas, I'm telling you it's as simple as this. If you can't sell cars, you can't pay people. Now, come on, come on, relax. I like splitting gas money for ways. <laughs> situation at work, you know? Which Rocky was it? One or two. Or three. Uh, one, I think. I don't know. Who's he fighting? Hey, did he have a mohawk like Mr. T? I don't know. I don't remember. The point is, here's a guy who's taking a pretty bad beating, you know? He's up against the rope, his eyes cut. Was his manager dead or alive? All right, forget Rocky. All right, forget I brought it up. Get it out of your head. The point is, when you're down... You're not necessarily out. You know, I mean, I mean, you gotta hang tough. I don't, I don't know. I gotta go, guys. See you later. Well, hang tough, baby. Watch his legs. Watch his legs. They're gonna knock you out, baby. He didn't see Rocky. Larry! Larry! Are you crazy? What did you do that for? Why didn't you tell me this morning I was being canned? I couldn't say anything until it was official! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Guys, wait! Jesus. You did it, didn't you? You fired these guys after all they contributed. Uh, oh, don't jack me. After the support, uh, oh man, after the devotion they gave you, you're fired too. Now, you fired me. I'm, I'm fired? You son of a... No! I'm going to You fired me. You're fired. You fired me. 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 Why don't you give me a break? I'm telling you, there's blood all over my slide room. Oh, it's yours, Jinx. Oh, come on, come on. Something's gonna turn up. You guys, you guys are terrific engineers. You're so damn good enough to catch on somewhere. Where are we gonna catch on, Jinx? Where are we gonna catch on? Nagasaki, the Roaring Valley. 
not exactly walking out of here empty handed. You got your full seven, huh? You got your profit sharing? Yes, yes, yes. Let's look for it. Try it. Full pro rata refund for this month's guest. Great. So I have one more thing I want to say. Disability! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yes, he knows, but we're not going to mention it tomorrow, honey. We want Dad to feel good, don't we? You hear that? He's coming out. Everybody smell real big. Hi, Dad! Hey! Hi! Boy, you guys look nice. What do you all Have dates or something? Heard you got fired. Laid off. Just laid off. Technically furloughed, sport. You're not a bum, are you, Daddy? No, but I'm working on it. So you want my will be? Actually, I kind of would like it, but instead, I'll take a kiss. Okay, come on, everybody. Let's take dinner. We're having a special dinner tonight. What are we having? Colonel Chicken. Yeah. We can't afford that. Let's enjoy it. Maybe I'll last. You know, I know this sounds crazy, but I actually feel great. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I feel great. I do, you know, because, I don't know, now I have time to do some work around the house I don't want to get to. And, you know, we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? You think I'll never get another job again? Don't worry about it. I already, I already put the word out. What would you say if I did, too? Dude, did you what? Yeah, put the word out. I mean, I have a couple of years' experience in advertising. I have a college degree. There's no reason why I shouldn't try to get a job myself. Wait, excuse me. Am I missing something? I mean, has your phone been ringing off the hook? Oh, no, Jack. You think you're going to get a job before I do? Jack, this is a contest. No, fine. This will be good. This is a good idea. We'll make it a contest. It'll be fun. I'll bet you 100 to 1. You don't get a job before I do, okay? Come on, doll face. Give me a dollar. I don't have a dollar. Oh, you want to bet, but you don't have a dollar. Hey, I don't want to bet. Hey, I thought somebody said they wanted to bet. Where do I get the kids? I don't bet. I don't take bets. I don't believe in bets. We're betting now. Alex, Kenny, come here. I was sure I was coming on my severance pay, too. Come on, guys. Hurry. This is going to be fun. Guess what? I'm making Mommy a bet. Daddy's betting Mommy $100 to just her $1, but she doesn't get a job before me. Kenny, hold the money. I better hold it, Dad. Money makes me crazy. Good point. Isn't healthy. Well, it may not be healthy, but it's fun. Oh, right, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Absolutely. Take the money, Carolyn. Jack, I don't want the money. Fuck, you want a bet's a bet. Jack, I don't take bets, and I don't want your money. Look, aren't you being a little hard on yourself? No, it's fine. I mean, you have applied to everything on wheels from Toyota to Schwinn. You're going to get a job any day now. Really. Oh, 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 late. My first day, I want to make a very good impression. How do I look? You look great. You're going to make a great impression. Now, do you want to go over that list one more time? <laughs> no, I don't want to go over the list. Okay, let's go over the list. Now, remember, when Kenny starts talking to his breakfast, that means he's finished, right? right, right. And Alex has to be to school at 7.30 and pick up his 1 o'clock sharp. Now, when Megan starts rubbing her little ears, it means it's time for her nap. But don't let her sleep past 11 because then she won't go down for her afternoon nap, which is at 1.30. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Will she rub her ears again? 
No, just in the morning. Mm. And please don't let her sit around in a wet diaper, okay? Oh. Huh? Now, Penny, he'll pretty much take care of himself, will not you? I mean, just keep him busy, you know, give him his tinker toys or his coloring book. See, I think Alex will be a little helpful, won't you, honey? Mm. Sweetie. All right, just relax. You're going to be great. There's nothing to this, you know. Oh, you got a cover, right, guys? Oh, boy, I'm going to miss you guys. Look, now, take it easy on Daddy. Remember, he's a rookie. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Mommy? Yes. It's, it's jungle out there. Very funny, Jack. What? Yeah, I don't know where he gets this. this. You know, in second thought, I think I will take this money. I might need it for lunch or something special. Actually, a lot of them would love to have this kind of time to spend with their kids. Oh, you're looking at me. Oh. I'm telling you, I'm a regular Phil Donahue. Yes, you are. Dad, you passed it. Passed what? We're right on time. But Dad, you're doing it wrong. Mommy doesn't do it like this. We're gonna do it the Jack Butler method. What is this? This is nuts. <laughs> Why are they all honking? Because you're doing it wrong. Tell me I'm doing it wrong. I know how to do this. Hi, Jack. I'm Annette. Hi. You're doing it wrong. See? This is what I tell all my new mommies. We enter from the south and we exit from the north. And then we do just the reverse and we kick out. Where little ones don't have to walk between the cars to get in the learning facility. Okay, moving out. Remember, south to drop off, north to pick up. Okay, it's a good system. South to drop off, more on! Actually, I'm very excited to be going back to work, especially here with Ron. Ron? And who would Ron be? Oh, Ron Richardson. Everyone here at the Richardson Franco Agency calls him Mr. Richardson. Well, he asked me to call him Ron. And when was that? In what context? In the context of my interview at lunch. Lunch. Well, now, before we go in here, let me give you some advice. Keep your mouth shut and your ears open, and you just might learn something. You want to knock it off? Ron, what is your message? Thank you. My father founded this agency on Sunsertuna. It's the cornerstone of all our accounts. So my position is, somebody better figure out a way to sell some tuna fish pretty damn quick. <laughs> we have people to do that. Sorry. Have it. Everybody, uh, please welcome Carolyn Butler. All right, I got Since you're probably the only one in the room that got a decent night's sleep, maybe you could have a fresh opinion. Do, uh, any of these layouts, anything make sense to you? Uh, I'm not qualified to judge anything, really. It's my first day. You ever eat tuna fish? Yes. You're qualified. 
Kiss everybody. Oh, up here. Oh, 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 I mean, I wasn't it wasn't there five minutes, and I was coming into this meeting with people yelling, yelling and screaming at each other, and then they were screaming at me, and there's a secretary that hates me for no reason. Are we going to kick a little ass, Yeah! The only one that was even civil to me was Ron. Ron? Yeah, you know, Mr. Richardson. I mean, he actually asked for my opinion, and when I told him honestly how I felt about something, Ron liked what I had to say. He did. Ron and his group are flying to the plant tomorrow, and they're going to tour it, and I was invited to go. Is that an unbelievable first day on the job, or what? I can't believe it. How about you guys? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We can't believe it here, honey. None of us can. We're stunned. Honey, I can't believe this. Oh, well, I don't want to speak to get wet. wet. Somebody must have died. Why? There's a limousine out front. Oh. Hey, you didn't say anything about a limousine last night. Well, Ron said he was sending a car, but he didn't say anything about a limo. I'll tell him I'll be right down. Sit right here. I'm not supposed to let strangers in the house. I'm sorry, sorry if I kept you waiting. Oh, not at all. I was just having a little uh, chat. You want to be um, Jack? Jack, Jack, Jack. Yeah, he's, he's quite a guy. So, uh, I guess we better get going. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jack, a real pleasure. Ron? <sighs> Very nice outfit, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Honey, if you call him out here, I'll be at the Jim Murphy Gun Club. How'd you like a little trim on that mustache? Man? Yeah, Humphrey is tough. He's probably the toughest client we've got. But you know, I think you've got two things going for you. Number one, your experience as a homemaker, your fresh run of trenches of consumerism. And, oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, boy. And, number two, you've got a... Let's just say you're extremely attractive woman. Okay. Oh, thank you. And then my husband thanks you, too. You know, I'm you glad know, you brought up, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jack. 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 Um, 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 what do you mean? 
Well, I mean, we're going to be working long, hard hours, and um, you might be coming home pretty late at night. And, well, if there's going to be a problem, I want you to tell me about it right now. <laughs> well, there's not going to be any problem, see? Jack supports everything I do. As a woman, in my career, as an executive, he supports me. And if we can agree that you are an executive, then you can stop cutting my shake. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Your wife says you do. Well, she has to know. Come on in. Some children? No, thanks. Hey, where's your mom keeping back like that? You mean Jaws? Mom goes back to cleaning Jaws? Yeah. Where is it? Over there.
crazy? You fed a baby chilling? Somebody had a good day. How about roasted seafood? Or no, oh, does your wife like seafood? Yeah, but seafood smells up the kitchen. It can take hours to get rid of the oil. How about something simple? Oh, I got a hamburger Wellington that's out of this world. Great, let me have it. Okay, start with two pounds of ground round, lean and mean. Browned it in some butter. Yeah, pardon me. <laughs> Could you use margarine in that or butter? Oh, no, well, butter's my personal choice. Yeah, but butter can scorch. Higgins, you're next. Oh, why don't you go ahead, and, and I'll go after you. Well, you were here first. Oh, yeah, that's, that's okay. I, I have no place to go. And besides that, there's not a job available anywhere in the city. <laughs> okay, Butler, I guess you're next. <laughs> I'd sure like to have a copy of that when I come back. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Drink all the excess fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're mad, aren't you? I'm not, I'm not mad. mad. I'm not mad. It's just not where I want to be right now. Well, Jack, I can't not go. I mean, please do it for me, would you? You know how many of these things I went to for you? A lot. We'll stay ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Fifteen tops. Oh, all right. Okay, fair enough. But if we stay longer than that, we pull the old Aunt Emily. Okay, the Aunt Emily, right. Wow, what a house! Yeah, probably mortgage to the eyeballs. Not this one. His great-grandfather, Commander Richardson built it. Yeah, hand me down. Oh, thank you. You know, you must be pretty darn proud of our little Carolyn, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're all very proud of her. The children are, and we're all real proud of her, huh? Yeah. She earned that promotion. I can assure you, Jack. It was a little promotion. I've got to tell you about it. It was no big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Richard Sutton Project Annual Award for You're a sportsman. I was kind of counting on you to take part in this. You know, uh, spouses are eligible. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. But... Oh, come on. Nobody takes it seriously. It's just good, clean fun. I know, Ron. Normally I'd say, yeah, but I'll tell you, we got to get over to uh, Carolyn's Aunt Emily. She's sick. Dying. Dad. Well, why don't you stick around for a few minutes anyway, and you can uh, watch the rest of the wives. I'm <laughs> sorry, I mean, families. Hey, what? Well, let's run down the car and uh, get that so it's fancy shoes and stuff now. Hey, all right. I'll stick around for a while, okay? It's like we got ourselves a little competition this year. Butler over there's a real jock. Oh, boy. That's all we need. Yeah. Relax, Butler. You're not going to win anyway. Why not? See that good? 
He's the boss. It's his turn. You get it? Yeah, but I don't work for him. Oh, but your wife does. Just who's the culprit? You don't want to know. Well, let me guess. Probably the deceased Mr. Gotcha. Ah, wrong. Wrong. Nikki doesn't even love you. Come on. Man, it's right. buddy. You're making it with your friend Kevin. You mean Kevin Frank? That's exactly what I mean. Watch, I'm going to blame on you now. You threw me at him. You let him know it was perfectly fine to take me to San Francisco, only he took me to bed first, and it's your fault. <laughs> Did I tell you? I know it. Gee, wake up, Vic. She already buried my husband. Do you think that I'm going to let that get into the record for everybody to see? 
Over the child to find out later on? Oh, please, uh, uh, no fault, divorce. Uh, uh, we don't get along. It's certainly true enough. Well, Nikki, I won't do it. So, I've been thinking about this. Yeah? Yeah. This is cold and the cheese isn't hard to melt it down. Okay. There you go. You'll play and a two dollar rebate on a Domino's pizza and a two for one sun pure frozen on trade. How about that? Whoa, it's serious poker. Any of you ever try those sun pure frozen on trays? Oh, my dog wouldn't eat them. I love them, I do. I'm calling you. 25 cent new and improved band roll on, and two 50 cent triple ply hefty bag offers. What do you got? <laughs> She's blasting. <laughs> Are these any good? Uh, well, got two pair. You got plenty. Hi, kids. Hi, Mom! Oh, 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 don't be silly, don't get up. Pizza. Well, I, I got a ton of work to do. I, I, I'll go upstairs. Listen, uh, we better go. Come on. 7.30? Tomorrow is good tomorrow, am I right? Yeah, Family starving? You can be fine. Pizza home. No, 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 well, if I wanted something to eat, Jack, I would have come down and had something to eat with you and your girlfriends. All right. Let's get into it. Get into what, Jack? Get into this. The house is a mess, Jack. The kids are a mess, Jack. You're a mess, Jack. Did I leave anything else out? Want to talk about the beer? All right. The beer is in its transitional stage right now, that's all. When it comes in, it's going to be great. 
I still look like a movie star, uh, what's his name? Orson Welles? No, I'm, 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 oh, Orson Welles. <laughs> Oh, I get it. That joke, right? That's real funny. Yeah, I put on a couple of pounds. So what? Come on. What else do you have? You want to talk about this shirt for a second, Jack? All right. You should wear this shirt around the house for about two weeks now. Can walk around by itself. Why don't you retire that thing to the dry cleaning hall thing, huh? Because it's a comfortable shirt. Jack, take a look at yourself. You've really thrown in the towel, honey. My brain is like oatmeal. I yelled at Kenny today for color on outside the lines. Megan and I are starting to watch the same TV shows. And I'm like, I'm losing it. Honey, I know what you're talking about. I've been there myself, all right? Well, if you were so unhappy, why didn't you say something about it? Because I wasn't ever happy. Look, maybe I was a little confused. Maybe I was a little frustrated. But I knew what I was doing was important because it means something to raise decent human beings. What saw me through was pride. I had pride in this house. I had pride in my kids. And I had pride in being Mrs. Jack Butler. Where are you going? I'm going downstairs to sleep on the fat couch if I can get through the door. You'll be sure to take pride in some of that fat, Porky! Yes, yes. No, no. It was very insensitive of us. Carolyn had every right to be angry. We're not talking. We're doing anything else. I'll be right there. One flowing into the next. The loneliness. Well, I did it, Jack. I did it for eight years. Don't you think I know? I say goodbye, darling. Oh, shut up. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't. Ah, uh, you can't do this to me. Do what? It's time for our poker game. The girls will be a little late. Ah, uh, there's, uh, there's no game day. The game's called off. Why? Because there's a death in the family. I'll explain to you later. Okay. Give 
it to me for a couple of days. If it doesn't work, you got the we'll be back. Please. To myself, please. Absolutely. You got it. had to do it. You sound out for Chinese food, huh? No. Kenny made this. Nuh-uh. Listen, you're doing a really great job with the kids, honey. I appreciate it. More than everything. You really are. Thanks. Look, take this time to carry you upstairs and let you know my own bottle, but I think it might take too long. Mm. So soon? It didn't take Humphrey very long to shoot down every idea we had. Looks like you're the ace in the hole. Well, I'm ready. Okay, you've got my attention. Shoot. 
<clears throat> well, these are the last two campaigns for Schooner Tuna. First, you gave away four glasses with every can of tuna. Now, as I recall, you were stuck with 60,000 of these, right? What is this? This is your life? <laughs> now, uh, bear with me. Next came 100 free trips to Hawaii. Now, who knew there was going to be a hurricane that month? You were stuck with 100,000 of these flower lays. I hope to hell you're making a point. Well, I am making a point, Mr. Humphrey. The point is, Schooner Tuna is one of the three most expensive tunas on the market. Now, if we want to beat our competitors, the time for these gimmicks and giveaways is over with. Now, I don't mean to be disrespectful, Mr. Humphrey, but housewives need your help, not your gimmicks. Show them that you really care about their problems, and you'll win their loyalty. Now, this is what I propose. Schooner Tuna sympathizes with those hit so hard by this trying economy. To help you, we are reducing the price of our tuna by 50 cents a can. When this crisis is over, we'll go back to our regular prices. Until then, remember, we're all in this together. Signed, Howard Humphrey, President Schooner Tuna, the tuna with a heart. Well, you've got a plan to catch it. I'm really sorry, Howard. I am as well right, you, sir. Yes, I am. Where in the hell have you been hiding this little girl? She's not just selling tuna, son. She's selling America. Right, right. The tuna with the heart. I love this bleeding heart shit. That's, that's America. That's what that is. That's what I think. Well, there's more. More? There is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so impressed with you. Hi, I'm here for Mrs. Butler, 8 o'clock flight. Right. She'll be right out. Okay. Why do you have to go to California? Because that's where we're going to make the tuna commercial, honey. Can't you go tomorrow, Mommy? No, I can't, because everyone else is going tonight, and I have to go. But you know what? I'm going to be back before you go to your first meeting of the Knights of the Round Table. I promise. Mm. Bye, honey. Bye, sweetie. Oh. Guys, stay right here, right here. Alex, Kenny, watch your phone, okay? Let me talk to him. I was noticing you're off to Los Angeles like that. Jack, there is nothing I could do about it. I convinced a man today to spend $11 million on one of my ideas. I gotta go. Besides, honey, there's gonna be other Halloweens, you know. I know there will be other Halloweens, but I'm thinking about this Halloween. I mean, girl, these kids in a couple of years are gonna outgrow this thing. Oh, really? You don't seem to have outgrown it, Jack. Right, I'm gonna yeah, well, so do I, honey. Remember I was gonna dress up as a prison matron tonight? Point is, Megan just got two new teeth. I bet you didn't know that. Alex is playing football. Remember Kenny's security blanket? Doesn't have it anymore. He doesn't use it. It's gone. You know, if you're here, I was gonna suggest you go as a ghost. Because even when you're here, you're not here. Carolyn, you really have to get going. Hey, Madison Avenue, lighten up. What do you want me to do? Not go? Not try? Not succeed? Of course not. I want you to succeed. And you gave me some real good advice once. So now let me give you some of mine. It's real easy to forget what's important. So don't. Jack, I'm gonna be back in less than a week. Please don't do this then. Come on, everything's gonna be all right. Off again, huh? Shut up, man. Please, please, Daddy will buy you a keeper, okay?
Okay, you want to keep her? Please, put your bum down there, honey. Okay? I know, but just... Jen, she here? I think she's here now, Dad. Okay, fine, fine. Please, please, for Dad and me. Please, okay? Who are you? What? Who are you? I'm your babysitter. Wait, wait, wait. Just a formality. I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. Jack, if you could back me up, I think I can get you back on at half salary. What are you talking about? You missed anything about half salary on the phone. Yeah. Mr. Latham, Mr. Butler, you can go in now. According to our records, since you and your associates left, production in your division is off by 23%, and costs are up 19%. Have any explanation for that? I'm a little confused here. I'm no longer with the company. Uh, I don't know. You might ask Mr. Lately. We have... And... Sorry, Jack. I covered for you guys as long as I could. You covered for us. That's a lie. That's not true. Come on, Jack. Larry and Stan were in here. Now, they already admitted that I covered for them. Now, come on. It's time for you to be a stand-up guy. Larry and Stan would say anything you wanted them to say. They need their jobs. You want me to be a stand-up guy? Okay, I'll be a stand-up guy. I need my job, too. But what's going on here is wrong. If I did such a bad job... Why did production go down and costs go up after you fired him? Huh? Look, I don't know what this guy told you. I don't know what he does with his books. I'm a car maker. I make cars. I'm not an accountant. But I'll tell you something. I take a lot of pride in my work. Dad? Oh, son. Son, you're going to have to get out of here now. This is a meeting. Just a minute, Alex. Daddy's talking. I know that's not real popular right now, you know, taking pride in your work, but I did. I cared. You fired me for it. If you ever talk to my kid like that again, I'm knocking you out. Forget the paper. There we go. Schooner Tuna Commercials, take 24. And action. I'm Howard Humphrey, president of Schooner Tuna. All of us here at... Cut, 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 cut. Carolyn, Carolyn, Carolyn. There's an emotional element missing. I, oh, for God's sake, what does he want now? Wait a second, I'll tell you this. Can't you control it? Okay, folks, one more time. How about a little dinner after all this is over? No, I don't think so. I'm too tired. I, I really, as soon as this is over, I want to go back to the hotel and sleep in the hot tub. That's all I want to do. Uh, uh, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Quiet! Schooner Tuna commercial, take 25.
My fellow Americans. Oh, I thought I had a job there for about 30 seconds today. <laughs> Jack, forget about it. The most important thing is that you didn't get fired. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, look at it, I guess. Oh, I Listen, so you guys get in now and go, and I'm going to get a cab. You're taking money. We sprang for dinner. You can't walk out on us now. I, Come on, I, get in. I, I don't where are you taking me. Come on, get in the car. Got him. Guy. Is Carolyn Butler there? She's in the pub. Who is this? It's her husband. Who the hell is this? Who was that on my phone? Oh, uh, wrong number. <laughs> Robert, what are you doing? Well, somebody has got to pour the champagne. Huh. You've been drinking a lot, haven't you, Ron? What? <laughs> yep, a lot. I think I'm going to have to ask you to leave now, okay? Why? There are no kids who don't come through tonight. Ron, get out. We can make a great team, Carolyn. 
Really? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, basically, you dump Jack, you marry me, and it's Richardson, Frankel, and Richardson. Come on. What are you trying to tell me? Do you love me? <laughs> no, hell no. But the client is. All right, Ron. This is my official warning to you. Get out! You are so adorable when you're angry. Ron, get out. <laughs> no, get Ron! Out. Don't be quiet. <laughs> Aren't you going to answer that? That's the fourth time it's rung the last hour. Oh, do you want me to answer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Hello? Okay. Oh, nobody there, I guess. Oh. Well, you probably want to be alone, huh? Yeah. Okay. All righty. Well, you try to get some sleep now, okay? And don't worry, my lips are sealed. Oh, I don't think I'll be called upon to defend my honor. I doubt it. I promised Jack I wouldn't say anything. Uh, now, now remember, this is in strict confidence. Of course! Making some minor changes. Hi, John. Just a little work around the house. Teddy! Don't paint your sister! Hey, Butler! Guess what? You had quite a burst of nervous energy last night. Yeah. yeah. You should have called me. Hey, Butler! Yeah. I think I found your problem. What is it? The shoe. Oh. Kids. Uh -huh. Ah, Doris is a friend of mine, John. TV! Kitchen's clean. Hi, John. I'm gonna check your basement for bugs. I sure hope I don't find any. Ooh, I'm a little grimy and sweaty here. John, I'm gonna go upstairs and take a shower. You can get a drink here where we keep everything. Watch television, whatever you want. It's amazing what you can do with the Sears car. That's from their safari collection. sees me there, and I die and get caught. John? Carol! What are you doing in my bedroom? Huh? 
This is my bedroom, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, what are you doing here? Is it too early for a drink? All right, why? Why did I get rid of it? Whoopee. Z, you're not going to do anything. Because you and my friend are in love with your wife. Joe, Jack, Carolyn. Well, now that we have the names straight, would you mind explaining to me why I come all the way home to talk to you and I find another woman in our room? Oh, look who's talking. I called your hotel. Richardson answers the phone and I hear champagne chill. Background? You heard that? Ha ha! No, no. I appreciate it. Just don't talk to me right now because I'm doing my best to calm down, all right? Excuse me. I am a household to run. Oh, Jack! Oh, oh, Jack. I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. Look, I'm not talking to you. No, no, please. Listen to me. Uh, I cut the department to the bone and they caught me. I've got to have you back. I'll do anything. Dad, is Mommy home? Not now, kid. I'm talking here. I warned you, Jinx. Oh. Gee, one punch. You want a company car? One punch, one punch. Oh, I thought you were bad time. Hey, don't hit me, Jack. I like what you've done with the place. Take him to two. Carolyn, I'm begging you. Humphrey's going to pull the whole account unless you come back to work. I told this guy last night ten times that I quit. What do you do, make a pass? I, I just got a little out of hand. And she belted me. You quit your job? I didn't like that job. I'm gonna get another job, a better one. Anyway, I miss my family. I thought you loved that job. Thanks. How about three days at the office and two days at home? Thanks. There's no way to do that. I didn't the first thing about that. Will you listen to me? Management wants you back. Jack. Thanks. The basement's clean. Oh, thanks. Look, he's offering me full salary and a company car. What do you think? Okay, look, Bert told him I don't make a move without Larry and Stan. He doesn't make a move without Larry and Stan. Oh, you got a deal. Who Larry and Stan? Thanks. So what woman can't you understand? I thought you said, oh, thanks. Larry and Stan. You really hit him? <laughs> I was hanging out how to take care of myself. <sighs> Hurt your hand? No. I missed you too. My fellow Americans, I am Howard Humphrey, president of Schooner Tuna. All of us here at Schooner Tuna sympathize with those of you hit so hard by these trying economic times. In order to help you, we are reducing the price of Schooner Tuna by 50 cents a can. When this crisis is over, we will go back to our regular prices. Until then, remember, we're all in this together. Schooner Tuna. A tuna with a heartbeat.